about food trends today on this edition of The Three Chefs. We've been talking a lot about plant-based food, yes. which is huge for 2018. So now you are going to be making a, uh, a cheesesteak. Let me tell you exactly what I'm going to be making. You tell us what you're going to make. Tell us. It's a jackfruit <laughs> Philly cheesesteak. It's a jackfruit Philly cheesecake. That's correct. Jackfruit. Not cheesecake. Cheesesteak. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you're steak. gonna make a cheesesteak out of jackfruit. And jackfruit's pretty exciting because it's not one of your typical fruits. It's not a very fruity mm -hmm. fruit this fruit. This is it right here. This is it right here. Okay. This comes from the store. Now this is native to India. Yes. But it's used all over Asia. Mm -hmm. um, as a Guyanese, breadfruit's in the same family. 100%. Figs in the same family. So yeah. I grew up with fried. But I never knew mm. that you could eat it this way. And the cool thing is I start to squeeze on it. You see that it pulls apart That's kind of fibrous. Cool. Yeah. Oh. And that resembles... Hold it up for us. Yeah. That resembles meat, right? Yeah. It resembles like pulled meat. I'm happy he's testing you guys now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at how that looks. Like it, it does look totally like... Right. It, you, it looks like the fibers that yeah. you would find in exactly. meat. Exactly. And that's what it when it comes to plant-based recipes, that's what you're looking for, something that sort of matches the texture. Jackfruit is most commonly used for pulled pork, oh. to make yeah. vegan pulled yeah. pork. Yeah. But today I thought, why not take it a bit further? I've been really inspired lately, and I said, why not do a Philly cheesesteak? So to start this, I love it. Um, three chef segments are my favorite because I have to do nothing. He says that. <laughs> please, he says slice that. that. please slice that onion. I will slice yes, the chef. pepper out of the pan preheated. Uh -huh. I'll add a little bit of olive oil to this pan. And while this is happening here, I'll add some veg oil to this pan here, and a Philly cheesesteak is nothing without the cheese sauce. That's and this right. is really gonna blow your mind a bit, okay? Vegan so, cheese. Yeah, so to make yeah. a vegan cheese sauce, we start with carrot. And bear with me. Of course me. you do. Come on. Bear, yeah. bear with me. Yeah. 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 about to leave. Jason, please don't leave. Please no. stay. There's no butter or bacon in this, I'm sorry, <laughs> chef. I wanted some rose oil, though. Please Onions stay. in. Yes, chef, please. So we start with carrots, yeah. and we start with uh, some potato as well. I've already cooked these off, so they're nice and soft. Okay. So you want to make sure that before you start doing this, that this is cooked through. Yep. Into this pan goes our vegetarian cheese, which is a vegan cheese, oh, okay. which is delicious. Another thing that a lot of people like to add to this is something called nooch. Do you know what nooch is, chef? No idea. Nooch. No. Nooch, anybody? Nutrition. Nooch. I see some, some people nodding nutritional yeast, which is really popular. Oh. Okay. Well, I knew what nutritional yeast was, but you made it all fancy. Is it I, but that's like, like, that's wait like a, a nooch. But is that's it, like the plant-based, like, you know, the, uh, the hipster oh. term. Okay, nooch. It's called nooch. Is it, nooch. is it in the same family as Vegemite? Uh, I would no. think so. I would think you it's in the same know. area. You we'll line it up, so? we'll give you a taste test later. But <laughs> nooch, look, it looks, it, looks it looks completely different, though, because it's flakier, right? Do you right? have gotcha. it here? No, it's not here today, but it is okay. an option that you can add into it, though. Nooch is very popular. Can I, I eat actually, this? It's going to taste like cheese, I promise. Peppers go into the pan, chef. Yes, chef. Nice. And also, I already have some pre-chopped. cheese, it's good. It tastes like cheese, yeah, right? It it's pretty cool. So I already have the jackfruit. Okay. So if we're making, anytime you're doing... I'm sorry, I, I gotta taste this cheese. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know Bring how you're gonna here. feel about it. No. Anytime, anytime you're making, how is it? It's cheesy. Right? It tastes like cheese. It's okay, cheesy, so yeah. stay, please don't leave. My mind is blowing my right. <laughs> <laughs> So anytime you're cooking with a plant-based product and you want it to resemble something, you want to slice it in that manner. So Chef, right. can I have you slice it up like strips of steak, right? Yep. Right. So that's what we want here. To this pan, we're going to add a few different things. So I'm going to grab a spoon here. I'm going to add in some uh, chili powder that's here. Okay. We're going to add in some Cajun powder because I like that too. There's also a vegan Worcestershire. Do you know there's vegan Worcestershire sauce out there? I had yeah. no idea. Mind blown. Garlic powder goes into here. I need garlic powder in the cheese sauce too. Okay. This is awesome. This is like cooking. You know when you're cooking with two pans? Like, at least this is exciting, right? I'm well, I mean, we excited, we, you excited. haven't done this in a while. I know that. No. <laughs> That's a joke. So, bra oh. so brown sugar goes okay. into the pan because we're going to be adding balsamic later down oh, the road, yeah. though. Yeah. And then, of course, no, let's oh. test you. I, I always test them. I don't know. Paprika. But what kind of paprika? Smoked paprika. Smoked, Smoked yeah. paprika. That's yeah. going to give you that depth, that kind yeah. of chili, that barbecue grilly kind of flavor. Yeah. Okay. We'll add a little bit of that there too. Now, the key to getting this cheese sauce to pop properly yeah. is to add something to color it. Now, what could I add to make this look like cheese? Add orange. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but how, how would I add that orange yellowish hue? Turmeric. Turmeric. Awesome. 
And again, Ooh, turmeric, really good for turmeric you is something yeah. that I grew up with, but more from like, not from a cooking aspect, it was always around my house per se. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now that uh, I'm getting into this healthier food movement, I'm using it a lot, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Good for you. If you add too much, that flavor of the root will come through. Mm -hmm. However, a little bit dyes things beautifully. Like I remember at my old job, we used to make a smoked banana ketchup, mm -hmm. and we would use turmeric to dye cool. to really make that yellow That's pop. That's interesting, smoked okay? banana ketchup. So I'm gonna move this around, salt and pepper. And while this is happening, we are going to add in some liquid into this pot, which is going to be a coconut milk. This is for our cheese sauce. Okay. So again, there's carrot, there's garlic powder, onion powder, the coconut milk. You can add nooch if you want. Also, at this stage, on a low heat, You're this won't split cheese. like regular cheese. So we're going to add... Yeah, you can see the cheese. I also use the fine grater, mm -hmm. because you don't want to just add in a brick into your cheese sauce. <laughs> is that how it comes? Does no, it come, man. Like, it no, it, it actually comes in a ball, and I use a fine grater to shave it, because okay. if it's fine grated, it'll melt better. Mm -hmm. right. And also another tip when you're making vegan cheese sauces is, is that if it doesn't melt very well, you can always do what to you can always do something to blitz it up. You can whirly wind it. Whirly wind it. Yeah. yeah. So you can use a robocoo, you can use a hand blender <laughs> and blitz it up. So this all gets stirred up here. And this I mean, is slowly going to start to melt. I think the thing about vegan cooking is just that it takes a lot more to get the flavor that you're looking for. Like, I mean, if you if you wanted cheese and you wanted to do it the non-vegan way, you yes. just get a block of cheese. But once, yes. But once you but know, though, you're right. Like, once once yeah. you know how to do it, it becomes a simple sort of uh, mix of ingredients to get to the same flavor yeah. profile. Exactly. It's a beautiful thing, this world that I'm exploring. I'm really telling you. I love it. And no, also at my restaurant, at my restaurant too, we have some items on it on the menu as well, like the, the beet burger that we did a segment for, yes. for City Mountain and stuff yeah. like that. I kind of want, it's, it's a visual thing for me. Like I want you to see something yeah. and I want you to think it's something else than what it is. And that, that's I mean. a beautiful thing for me. Well, that's what's happening with plant-based foods. It's, I mean, that is what's happening. People are trying it. We saw these two veteran chefs. You guys are trying recipes and yes. not knowing the difference between so whether it's vegan <laughs> exactly. or, or meat. So, so that's pretty cool. So I want you to reveal what it looks like when it's done. Okay. And to plate this up. Okay, so everyone get a look at how that it looks. looks like steak. In there. That's what the balsamic oh, vinegar. Man, we stuck some ribeyes nice. okay. in there. Okay. And now sure. I want. Uh, what did you put on there? That is a vegetarian aioli. Okay. And the way to make that, it's a you need a hand blender, but instead of using egg yolk, I use chickpea water. Oh. I want okay. to hear more oohs and ahs from that. Oh. Chickpea water, water something like that. Oh. Cheese, uh, cheese yeah. sauce is coming. Here it is. And this is, is what it looks like. Sauce, and I'm going to pour right. it right over. Okay. So you, can you put that on nachos? Yeah, you can put this on anything. <laughs> you can put this on anything. It looks good. It looks good, right? And then you just take this and pour it right over the top. What? Oh, my god. And it's so beautiful. And this actually tastes like meat when you're eating it, but it's I really exciting. You. And pour this right over. And then also we can garnish with some greens that I found on Jason's Island. Nice. Right there, Jason. Okay. That's good. And then that's it. You have a... You have a Vegan Philly cheesesteak, okay? Wow, and it looks beautiful. Grilled beautiful. bread, it's pretty. It's nice. It's delicious. Nice. You can see it. Um, that looks gorgeous. I love it.